Hi everyone. In today's session, we will discuss about database creation, user creation, difference between user and database, drop database, delete database, and what is the difference between drop database and delete database, and drop user. Let me quickly open the presentation which I have prepared for this session. So uh, this is the presentation. So create database. A data data database is a local repository for various kind of database objects like tables, procedures, functions, journals, fallback tables, secondary index, sub tables. So here top three are common objects in any database: tables, procedures, functions, journals, fallback tables, secondary index tables. These are little specific to uh, teradata and we need to know oh, i mean we need to have detailed knowledge about all these three things so i just mentioned the names here but in the subsequent videos we are going to talk about the journals fallback tables and secondary index and its secondary index sub tables so uh, all these are separate separate videos we are going to we are planning to make so for now just uh, mm, see these words we will have a detailed discussion about those topics in the subsequent videos so the syntax of the create database is create database database name as permanent or per some bytes spool some bytes temporary some bytes so now you get a question what is this per spool temporary this is all these three terms belongs to the space so if you see the command here create database campus from dbc the perm is the permanent space that is required for this database spool space spool space required for this database temporary space required for this database so i mean a space is again a different i mean a separate concept altogether so we are going to make a separate video on this so for now i'll just give a, a glimpse of it um perm space is the maximum amount of space available for tables or any permanent objects like procedures functions tables all that stuff spool space is space available for running i mean for processing any query temp space is used for creating the temporary tables for now we will just um, i mean have this definition because uh, today we are seeing a little different topic space is altogether a separate topic so we need to uh, have a detailed discussion about the space so in the subsequent videos anyways i'm going to make a video on the space so that it will be very useful so for now we'll just uh, settle with this particular definition so the command is so we are giving perm space permanent or perm both are same space is 5 gb and spool space is 5 gb and temporary space is 2 gb this is the this is how the create database command uh, needs to be written so in any ways in the demo we are going to i mean i'm going to show you how to create database and all that stuff so let's move on to the create user so in the data users and databases are exactly same except the user is assigned with a password same as database users also can hold different database objects like tables views macros triggers however users cannot hold any permanent objects without assigning the permanent space to it and the difference between user and the uh, database is database will have its password and user can log on to the teradata system using the password and access about access objects within itself and other databases or other users for which it has access meaning so if you are logging as xyz and you have access to your 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 i mean your user and its uh, stored objects i mean perm space stored objects like tables views and all that stuff and in the same time user will have access to see other databases and other user uh, related uh, objects also that is the uh, user 
versus database but database sticks to that uh, particular area that's uh, parent space of the database spool space of the database and temporary space of the database it will not be i mean like it is uh, it will not go and see in other uh, users uh, i mean other database application something like that okay but the user will have that access and now the syntax of the user is also very similar to the syntax of the database creation i mean create database syntax so perm space and for at the user level also will define permit space spool space and temporary space if you see here uh, we'll be able to understand only extra command is password so we have to provide password at the time of user creation and then um, we, if, if you don't give permanent space it will not be in a position to store any of the permanent objects in the under under user okay we'll move on to next one that is drop database so here we need to understand what we are going to drop on which login we are in whether that login has proper privileges i mean appropriate privileges that login is having or not these are all the some main things that we have to keep in mind i have already mentioned in this slide deck the first point is the user you are using to drop database should have the appropriate privileges to drop database and database should be empty then only you can apply drop database statement if the database is not empty meaning if the database is having still its permanent uh, objects in it like tables procedures views drop statement will not allow you to drop the database so in that case what you have to do you have to use a delete command delete database command to empty the database then only we can run the drop database command so once the database is dropped the configuration uh, at the space right perm equal to 5 gb um temp equal to 2 gb all that stuff is returned back so that space will become free and that space is returned back to the immediate parent and the syntax of the drop database is drop database database name command you have to write like this drop database instead of database name you have to give the real name of the database and the delete database the delete, delete database is used to delete all the database objects like tables views macros triggers store procedures is a different functions from the database to delete the database in data data you must have drop privileges on the specified database okay so the delete database syntax is delete database database name all all is optional what is the meaning of all here is the database name we, we know for sure that is the real name of the database what you are which database you are planning to remove that database name optional is all is optional all all is specified to delete all the objects including materialized global temporary tables okay. you can give all or you cannot without e even giving all also delete gets executed but it will delete all these things it will not touch temporary tables okay so the command that we we have to give it like this delete database name and the and the database we were, which you are we are sure targeted to delete in order to remove a database structure completely from the data dictionary we have to use the drop database statement so if we now we know the difference between delete and drop drop right so you cannot drop a database without making it empty to make the database empty you have to use the delete database command and for deleting also you should have a drop privileges on the targeted database so these two are interrelated so that is the delete database so we have covered create create database delete database drop database create user and delete user is also very similar to the delete database so we'll we'll go ahead and see uh, all these uh, commands in the action so i'll show it in the demo i'm opening the data and i've already prepared uh, um, 
all the commands and kept it here to save the time so what I'm going to do is um, I'll just first uh, start with the create database and I'll just go ahead and create it so I don't see see more here okay so there is no cinema so let me just go ahead and create it creating a table within the cinema database so uh, yeah see here it is executed so now what I have to do I have to just refresh it and see what whether the table is created or not within the cinema so we go and check the tables you have screens and that screens is having all the columns that I have specified here now why I have created table here is to show the drop and delete functionality. So what a drop will do? Drop, drop, drop command we can perform on the database only when the database is empty. So now I just wanted to show you what will happen. So now I am dropping the database in M1. What is the expectation? It should not allow us to drop the database drop is basically the structure drop and it will not allow us to drop when the content is already available in the database like tables and all the permanent objects so I'm just going ahead and going ahead and so clicking it so it says error because cannot drop database with tables journal tables use macros etc so now what we have to do if you want to drop a database first delete objects so you can run with all or without all for now I'm just having all also I'm just clicking on the delete executed delete command is executed that means what will happen now so it will go ahead and clear the tables in the cinema so if you go and see here it's gone now now we will go on drop the database what happened? executed successfully so now if we go and refresh it you will not be able to see cinema it's gone now ok that is the difference between delete and uh, drop tables so now what we will do we will go ahead and try creating user so attribute is password you know, that is the only difference uh, you can see here when you see the database create database also create database is also having the same set of attributes right so, so that is one very similar now what I have just go and create this one see whether this user not created or not so executed and executed successfully executed a single statement and it is successful what we do is refresh it as ok you have a CDN but you don't have any objects within it I told you right you can create a user with the permanent space and you can also store the permanent objects under user so what I will do 
how can we create a table under the user so we are creating a table under user cdm same screens table only so statement executed successfully and if we go out and refresh it So now how to delete this table? The, what I am trying to tell here is user can hold permanent objects also and user will have access to other databases or other user objects. Okay. So now what I am trying to do is I am just trying to delete the table. that I have uh, mentioned in the slide deck, I have showed you in the action, create database and then create a table in that uh, cinema database and then drop the database, this drop happens only when the database is empty, so for emptying the database I use delete database cinema, cinema all, and then I showed you user creation with password and created a table under the user also and I show you the drop table, drop user name. There is a drop user also, CD admin drop user. I will say CD admin drop. It's over. Now if you go and refresh it. See, CD admin is gone. So, this is the, I mean, a demo of all these commands. Hope uh, this is very helpful to you. Let me know if you want any topics related to Teradata, mention it in the comments. I already have a list of things in the pipeline. I will add the requested content to that pipeline and I will start releasing one by one. So as I mentioned you, we are going. We are planning to release a separate video on the space and other concepts also in the subsequent videos. Hope you like this video, please uh, like the video subscribe the channel thank you very much